welcome back to Diddly Squats. Yes. With me, Mr. Happy. And, <laughs> and Mr. Me, Mr. Grumpy. Yes. Mr. Not Happy. <laughs> you might want to unfold that first for you, Larry. Yeah. There's, there there's go. going to be all sorts of screw-ups, I imagine. So. <laughs> well, it took us about 15 minutes to get the bloody DLC forwards the dlc forwards. to actually work indeed forwards. indeed that was you, that was 15 minutes challenging that was challenging was. we have taken out a little bit of a bank loan <laughs> yeah and brought ourselves a nice little field up at the top of the map we have indeed and uh we are going to be parsnipping <laughs> we're just going to be doing some parsniping today isn't that all right wurzel <laughs> um yes so we thought we'd embrace the new dlc yep um all things dlc all things dlc you know bandwagon jump on it etc etc um so yeah i've done red beat well done. i've done red beat yeah. beetroot beetroot They're called beetroot done beetroot we're not american done carrots uh, doing carrots. I haven't done them yet. Um, so that, we decided that, that suggests snips, you finished. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, done would be that that is concluded. Um, yeah, it might be a part one and a part two at this rate. Uh, or, um, or done as in never doing again. Yeah. See, planting my um, my rating of the dlc is a nine out of ten yeah i think it's very good the only thing that i don't like is as you can see from the ridging etc but i think that's a map thing isn't it the train um, angles i don't know don't know mm. but so that's me one that's the one yeah that just, just lets it down harvesting so far it's probably around a seven it's <laughs> it's challenging isn't it it's bloody hard going so I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing? The, the, oh no, no, I was about to blame that the field was not quite on the right heading, but I realised I was two degrees off of the correct heading. Ah. I'm, I'm trying to run so we get ridges that go in nice lines. Oh, that apart, would be pretty. Apart from the uh, the headland, because the headland's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a mess. Yeah. But yeah, so the only thing I've done is feed some animals yeah yes um and i had to play around with course play and auto drive and harvesting mm -hmm. and it is and how did that go for you swimmingly <laughs> swimmingly yeah i think you're telling corgis so what I i've tried it <laughs> what i what i found is that course play does not like the boxing harvesters Right, yeah. Um, because when the boxes are full, it keeps going for a bit and then stops. Yeah. Um, I have found course play is okay with the other harvesters. Mm-hmm. And then I have found that auto drive is truly wonderful with all of the harvesters. So if you couldn't get it to work, you are an utter noob. Oh, I think... Wait, hey, I'm just trying to get out your way. I, I, I think we need to take a moment to appreciate the additional traction that has been required to run the cedar the <laughs> can, look it's 32 liters can you just of, remind me how many horsepower you actually need to put down to uh, to move that cedar through the ground um no because i'm it's a where would it be? It would be under least of items or vegetable technology. That's the badger. Uh, seven <laughs> seventy. Seventy. Are you sure you can get seventy horsepower down through um, eight wheels? I think so. Have you got your diff locks on and your four wheel drive? I have. Have actually. Okay. Good. Good. We should be okay yes. then. We should be we okay. Should be all right. Um, what were we saying before you rudely? Um, yeah, you, you're telling Porky's about auto drive. Yeah, yeah. So I, 
I the reason that I was messing around with it is I was going to do a video on course playing auto drive with the new harvesters and auto drive does not like the new harvesters. Um, I found for a while I could get it to work okay by massively increasing the pipe offset. Yeah. Um, so by default, the pipe offset is 0 0.2 meters for those harvesters. Yeah. I increased it to a meter. Okay. And as long as it was going in a straight line, it was actually okay. There, right? Yeah. Um. When it got to the first corner, it all went a bit pear shaped. Yeah. It's um, <laughs> yeah. So what my um experience so far, and you know, it is early days. Stuff's gotta get updated. <laughs> um, that. Hold on, I just want to check something because I can hear a bleeping. So I'm hoping that it's there. We go. Right, that's fine. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, updates. I assume I was listening to you. Yeah. So my experience so far with auto drive is that it goes to the left-hand side of the self-propelled DeWolf so, harvester. So I <laughs> found an in, a, a similar interesting problem in that I I had it worked for a bit and then it got stuck trying to go behind, like it was mm. a forage harvester. Yes. Um, now, I have drawn similarities with um, a forage harvester, <clears throat> excuse me, in the sense that it needs to detect a pipe for the worker to move. Yes. No, it doesn't. It needs to detect a trailer yes. for the worker to move because it's obviously got no capacity. Correct. Um, I'm going to maybe but, destroy some of your planting. That's okay. Um, but yeah, so I did follow me <laughs> for a little while, um, but the corners, as I mentioned to you in a little chat earlier, were a nightmare. So I've now bunged the harvester on course play. Mm-hmm. And I am working around the headlands, me driving. And you're using the dwarf harvester, right? <laughs> I genuinely have paid very little attention to how many dwarf harvesters there are. That, there's, there's are, there's are. <laughs> that, that did amuse me. So a little bit of insight into a genuine conversation we were having. It's like, what what harvester are you using? I'm using the dwarf one. Like, funny, funny. Some and, and I, I find it slightly funnier that you genuinely didn't realise there are, I believe, seven dwarf root crop harvesters in the game. Uh, well, I, yeah, I thought it was. I don't know. For some reason, I got it was grimy in my head, but no, all, all the harvesting wrong. kit is dwarf. Yeah, oh, I know. It's, it's nice kit. It is nice kit. Gonna. Don't get me wrong, it's very cleverly done. Yeah, it's bugging me that I don't line up with the ridges that I'm making. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's, that's part of my point one. Yeah. Percent or ten percent that I don't there like about it, isn't that's it? That's a bit better. Yeah. I'm assuming that it lays the crop texture on the ridges. Uh, I really hope so. And it all lines itself up. I think it does. I think um, I like the fact that it changes the colour of the ground. Hmm. Just so you can see where you've been. Yeah. It's in what is somewhat interesting, and I guess the prob <laughs> well there is a way they could have done it. I believe in base game reaching gives you a fertilising state. I have heard that. Who was talking about? Smock was saying that. Yeah, Ar Argsy was speaking about it in his preview stream. In right. Precision Farming, it does now. Mm, yeah. So, 
Well, oh, well, actually, that's just why. Oh, I don't know. Ten kilograms. Ten I, kilograms. I can't see a difference. In no. Sorry. No, I'm just looking. It's we've already got ten kilograms yeah. of uh, nitrogen. I didn't know if it was just uh, no. okay. A little, a little bit. That that feels like a little bit of a test. That whether you could just run the planter over the field without ridging first, uh, yeah, or whether it requires the field to be ridged for that planter to work. I don't know. But I don't know either. Not sure. And again, the ridges are not lining up with the ridger. But I, I, I kind of think that given that they're both Giants DLCs, that maybe they should have done a little bit of integration with them. <laughs> you know? Yeah, maybe. Um, and maybe that's because I, I pretty much always play with precision farming enabled. Um, yeah. But, you know, you, you can't expect them to test every single mod make sure it works but you why will... not <laughs> don't Blake. make me get my calculator out you um you've read exactly what i was saying on discord yes I, and i i speak about it in a video that you will get to see oh yes um so don't make me get my calculator out um but I would expect them to test it with their own DLCs. Um, yeah. Given but what, that, have, what, have, what have they broken? What's broken well, with it? Then? It's not, not that it's not. It doesn't do anything with precision farming. I'm, I, I think that the job that I'm doing is pointless. Mm, yeah. I, I do not know. If you just drove down the field that I haven't reached, if it would plant and end up looking exactly the same. But I've done this uh, row. We'll have a little test. Yeah. And what I'm whinging about, because I'm loving a good whinge at the moment, is <laughs> it feels like the ridging process with precision farming is potentially a complete waste of time. And yeah. given that it's their DLC they could have tested that and implemented yes. some functionality so that it had a use that would have been nice um, and, and I know that the purists might say well ridging doesn't add nitrogen but ridging doesn't add fertilisation either so no it's just true um live testing it's always fun let's have a let's have a look shall we ladies this, and gentlemen this is cultivated ground isn't it basically so yes oh and look at that there we go yeah you can see from the mini map that snips are going down and it makes zero difference just because you want to get out of doing some work. No, no, it's more that I. There's something else for me to whinge about. Yeah. It it just. I, given that a big fit function, uh, you know, one of the big features of this DLC is they've added this thing into planting. And mm -hmm. if you play with precision farming, all it does is give you a visual. Unless it affects yield. Oh, I, sorry. I'm just trying to line myself up 90 degrees. So I've been a bit of oot. Yeah. I, 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 I want to do some testing of it, I think, before I complete my whinge. <laughs> yeah, but at least you've got something to back it up. Yeah. Because I wondered, and as we know, it's quite easy to look if you can... Uh, I oh, know you won't be able to see these in. No, you won't. I won't be able. To... No, you'd have to crack the DLC, wouldn't you, to check yeah. the equipment? Yep. So we we need to know. Is this a direct planter? Planter. It should it should just tell you that in the store. 
and I get to the end, I will have a look. Because you could compare, because like the, the, the Kinsey planters tell you they are direct planters. All it says is, oh no, it's got that word in it. I'm going to say it properly. This special planter is used to plant vegetables. Oh, so it doesn't say whether no. it is. So it'd be interesting it would. to see what we're going to get for a tillage we score. Can see. Tillage, we have 5.5, which is not direct drilled, but you're only halfway through yeah. drilling. Interestingly, the ridger does not affect your planted texture where you planted without ridges. Oh, yeah. I, wa I wonder if it's like a Walker's Crisp and it adds more flavour to the parsnips. <laughs> that, yeah, that'd be it, mate. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. probably the only, that's probably yeah. some level of logic there. There's the there's the use of it. it adds more flavour. Your parsnip soup will be more mm. flavoursome. Oh, we could do what is it? Preserved parsnips. We could do. Um, are, you, are you trying even more to trigger me today? <laughs> we could do. Uh, we could do, yeah, preserved food parsnips. Lovely. Oh, I know. Can we? We could sell them in the shop. No, yes, that's what I, well, I wasn't thinking that, but yeah, it's a good idea. Construction, production. Where's the piano place? Do not. We build a, I can don't... we build a preserved food factory? There's a dairy, bakery. I would have thought that the piano place is built into the map, but I might be wrong. I think you are correct. Premium expansion. Oh, that's got a shame. A... Why has the premium expansion got... I guess it's a different building, isn't it, for the... Yeah, so we've got the super factory. Super factory? Super factory, <laughs> or the preserved food factory, or the potato processing factory. We're not growing potatoes, are we? No, nor and it, well, we could do oil. We could, we could do some crisps. Oh, I, I nearly actually place one then. You, you do you do enjoy your crisps, don't you? So, um, I don't need today actually. Oh, you, you'll yeah, be getting a bit grumpy in a bit then. <laughs> or have you had your lunch? I've had me. I've had me lunch. That's okay. Then. I I I haven't yet. Oh, that's why you're grumpy then. That's, no, that, that's not why You're I'm like grumpy. me, you get hangry. That's, that's really not why I'm grumpy. <laughs> oh, I do like... So, somebody's... Why? Uh, and I should probably know this if I'd watched any level of content or should. actually paid attention. Why is it such a small capacity? Because it uses a very small amount of seed. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. So your that that plant up full will seed quite a large area, and it is because vegetable seeds are very small. So yeah. that many liters of vegetable seeds is a lot of seeds. Yeah, true. I suppose that is why it is is it is 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 as it is is is. Um. <laughs> And if you had watched Argsy's stream, because his family farm used to grow vegetables, they used to mix the seeds with sand so that it would sand. actually go through the planter. Oh, very clever. Um, so, yeah, it is because the seed usage is so much lower than in litres per acre than any yeah. of the other crops. Oh. You've got to admit that this tractor does look the mutt's nuts on twins. Um. Okay. You know it does. Okay. 
It's very you. It's very you. <laughs> you went. Uh, you went Chavi on Green Valley. I did. I did. So I've gone. Oh, hedge, a hedge flattening. There. It's a hedge there. It, it, the only problem is it's it's somewhat affected the turning circle. Handles like, like a missed barge, it. I believe the expression was. Yes. I've missed a bit. Remind me to come back and get that. No, I'm just going to let, let you leave it so it bugs you when it's grown. Strip of shame. Very good. I'll tell me what we could do as well if you want to go and grab... I'm just you doing up there. I'm, I'm watching you. Go and grab the um, grab a fertilizer spreader. Because then it's done. Okay. okay. So I'm having a stroppy teenager. Not your hard work. No, I'm I, I'm hard work at the moment. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. I'm not entertaining your bad behaviour. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna help you if you're a foul mood. True. Yeah. Oh, so I, I, I'm. No, I, I'm sorry if I offend any religious people with this conversation. Um, I do not believe in things like that. And uh, mm -hmm. we had some people turn up at the front door. I was working. Um, that wanted to try and offer salvation. Oh right. Um. And I did suggest to Mrs. D that she should have let me come down and chat to them. Um, and what did she say? She said no. Because <laughs> she knows what you're like. Yes. Um, my One of my favourite expressions, and again, I apologise if you do, um, do, do religion, um, is fictional sky wizard. Um, I, I am. I have a very logical brain, so please ignore yeah, me if it. You do, you. yes. So, and that actually uh, comes from a book that I find very funny. So, we're going wow. to cut. Are we going to cut through the country house? No, we don't know my way around this map well enough yet. I think I should have. Yeah, oh, and you berate me. Yeah, we're getting lost. Yeah, I'm not lost. I'm trying to think, find the optimal route. <laughs> I'm half expecting you. I oh, know that's the edge of the map. Yeah, you're just stood in the field. That I'm, is creepy. I'm not. You are. I'm not. You have some. Hey, there's the rock. I <laughs> Oh, I got a strip of shame. Dear, oh dear. I, I should have kept the uh, the ridge at least until I got back to the farm because the weight on the front is making this very ungainly. It would have been nice for a, a screenshot as well, but never mind. Like you and your bloody screenshots. <laughs> you you <laughs> said go get a foot but spread up. I did. I didn't say return the vital piece of equipment that we need for the screenshot. Oh well. Was any did, did you get much? Um, what would the word be? Feedback on um, mining for consoles? No, no, <laughs> no, nor me. It, no. I was expecting that one to. Uh, no. no, bring think, a lot of questions. I think but that it didn't. video did pretty poorly, actually, from what I remember. From from the re from the last couple, it's not as high. Mm. Right, circa four four five hundred, I think. Like oh, geez, I don't. I, I I haven't looked in a few days. I think when I last looked, it was at about eighty. Oh, okay. Um, really? I'm, I'm just I'm just loading up. Um, hundred and seventy-three. Oh. I'm not as big as you, mate. I'm not I'm not as good a YouTubes -er. YouTubes -er. let's yeah. have a look Muppet left this bloody tractor I bet it was that Caleb person so mining or tonkering 
571. Yeah, you can go off some people, you know. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to give me the response that you gave me when I asked you if you wanted to do a carrot contract for me earlier then. <laughs> no, no. No, you're far too much professional for that. I've yeah, gone past where I wanted to be. Um, right, last strip. How's the uh, the subscriber numbers at the moment? I haven't looked. Uh, Nine hundred and thirteen. Nice. Yes, yeah, right. Up. Steady. Reaping it is up. slowly but surely. Right. We have plenty slowly of fertilizer in the shed. So. Can't even see if you're loading it up properly. I'm not. No, no, I can't, can't make I was, me. I was, I was waiting for a JCB to activate, but uh, can't make oh, me. do you know what I found as well? You know how um, in the last episode, my simpler inspector, my simpler, yes, oh, goodness me, I couldn't see it. Simple inspector. Yep. It was when we were faffing with the fire engines. Yep. One of the key binds that I tried to get stuff to work is to turn off ah. Simple Inspector because when I went on to, not Maypole, Glen, Glen Lathen, it was gone on there as well. I was like, oh, this is not not right. Ah. So basically so, fire engines are bad in every way. Well, unless you need one in real life, then they're well, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yes, in-game... No, no good. No good. So we did, you did find out or, or spot afterwards the thing to make them work. Yes, you okay. have to put, have we, have we got it still installed? I think it's still installed, yeah. It's, uh, oh no we haven't, no we must took it out. Uh, oh, was it? Should this field not have... have a crop what? in it which one 16 um, um we have a problem houston oh oh we do what's we will have a conversation later mr kartek What the? I just need to check something. Yeah. No, that's not me. I take zero responsibility for that. We will fix our wonderful fields full of tram lines later. How? There will be some editing done, I reckon. Um. Oh. Man, but ha I don't, I don't know when that could have occurred. No. When? <laughs> no, we've not had any so. issues with fields today. No, but <clears throat> that's not. That's not me. Let's go with no. I'm back. Well done. Un unusually, Mrs. Disturbeth had a parcel delivered from some cheap website that I do not. This is even more interesting. Does it? What? Bert's not going on. That then says to <clears throat> excuse me. That then says to me that it needs to grow. Shouldn't matter. Well, no, because it's already had in the eyes of the game, it has already had a fur layer. Ah, it? maybe so it needs to change a state. 
Yeah, maybe it maybe it has still counted. Yeah. I'm I'm not convinced, but I'll I'll go with the logic. I'll go with it until I do some more <laughs> testing. Yeah. yeah. Well uh, on that bombshell. On that bombshell. We will be going to the save game backup. We will. <laughs> which is already being grabbed off of the server. Well done that man. I've no idea what happened there. No. We will be back <sighs> next week. Yeah, yeah, yes. Um because this should be going out on Sunday. It should, yes. Um and we might have some parsnips growing a bit. <laughs> we will have some parsnips growing a bit, yeah. <laughs> or we'll have set fire to the whole freaking place and uh We've moved on. We'll be pretending to be presenters on uh, the Grand Tour. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's an idea. No. Oh, dear. No. Okay. No. All right. Okay. All right. Right. Uh, a very I, um, bizarre episode, a, mate. A short, but weird fun. one full of interesting things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody. Yes. See you next week. <laughs> See you next week, mate. Bye. Bye.